I would be an educator. Uh, I think education and, and teaching is just at my heart and I always enjoyed working with young people uh, and I honestly thought that was something I'd be doing um, you know, a while back. I never thought I'd be a Division One head coach you know, a decade ago but I'm here now and uh, but I usually see myself working with young people in, in education. If I were not a coach, I probably would be in broadcast journalism. I studied it as an undergrad at Villanova and I thought that I was going to the ESPN desk straight from college. Aaron Andrews didn't even exist, but I wanted that job. Um, Linda Cohn was someone I really emulate, wanted to emulate and looked up to because she just was boss woman on the desk. So I would either be doing that or I have a podcast, so I love speaking and encouraging women. So doing something in the encouragement field or broadcasting field. My favorite job was working at a movie theater, so maybe I would be a general manager at an AMC theater. Well, I had a career before I got into this, so uh, before that I worked for, uh, I worked both in, for a family business, uh, you know, in the kind of general contracting construction world. Uh, in addition to that, I also worked in kind of the risk management thing, consulting business with Aon. So uh, I've, I've had kind of three worlds of, of careers uh, in my life. I, I, I suppose I'd go back to something that I'm using my business degree. I taught before, so maybe being a teacher. Um, I was a, in chemistry before. I've told people I probably would go into forensic science. I'd probably be like a CSI agent or something like that, something in that realm if I couldn't coach or teach. If I was not a coach, I would be a mayor, a mayor of my hometown. Um, I majored in government and politics at University of Maryland, and I wanted to be a politician. And I wanted to be the mayor of my hometown. And so if I wasn't a mayor, uh, I will be in politics, and I love politics, uh, I love talking politics, and now more so than ever, uh, it's, just, it's a big talking point to everyone in the country and, and around the world. If I wasn't a coach at the, uh, at the collegiate level, maybe a coach at the high school level, um, you know, I think as I, someone that grew up in, around the coaching profession, I think I knew early on that this is something that I wanted to pursue. Um, you know, but I'm finding, I'm finding a lot of fun and, and, and sort of following my kids and maybe being involved in something in youth sports. And honestly, I, I, I'm not sure. I've, I've just known for so long that I've wanted to coach. Um, I, I got my degree in history social science and um, began teaching history, but that was mainly so I could coach basketball. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe I would be a, a history teacher. If I was not a coach, I would probably be a special education teacher. Back when I was in high school and middle school, I always worked with uh, kids with special needs and it was just kind of always a passion of mine and something that I really enjoyed doing. And there's always been people that have kind of came into my life and I've built really solid relationships with them and I just think it's a really fun demographic to impact and, and work with. 